I had no idea how big the song would be. When I made it and I put it out and the day it was coming out, I had no idea if people would even like it. So like it's crazy to me that it like resonated with as many people as it did. The very beginning, I was like trying to do like Playboy Cardi ad libs on this like alternative beat. And then it just like evolved into like a real song. I think that's like how it actually like just came out at first. The ad libs in the chorus and like going into the chorus, they don't sound like his shit cause like it comes out like in my way. But like that, that was what I was inspired by for those. And they're still in there. Like you can hear like the background vocals in the chorus and like going into the chorus, it's still there. This is your fault and I don't need you anyway. Stumble at the bathroom, stumble at your arms again. She doing cry in a room with a new Santa backward and that bitch so call me crazy little ho, how does that work? She got the guest house jumping up with smoke out that attic. You're right, I know we love to argue, let's get at it. Yeah, when I was reading the lyrics before, it said crank and I was like, I don't even know what crank is. But basically I said crack. I don't know anyone personally that does crack, but I just threw that in there, I guess, to like get the message across that like, this other person's doing like self-destructive behaviors and shit like that. And they're like self-indulged and they like can't really see past that. Waste it, sipping on that liquor, you can taste it. Girl, don't touch that drink, I know you laced it. I don't know what to say except your ma, 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 mine. You crush my heart and say it's nothing. You broke me down, I kept on cutting. I played for you and now I'm gushing. I played for you, but you never cared. Really this pre-course is just saying like, I'd do like anything to like be with you and like help you, but like you don't really give a fuck. So it's like, there's no like good ending there. Spit in my face, my love, it won't phase me. Spit in my face, my love, it won't change me. Spit in my face, my love, I've gone crazy. Spit in my face, my love, I've gone mad. At the job I worked at, I used to work at like a, like a venue where they had concerts and shit. And I was working this Megadeth concert. I don't know, like my manager was like, you need to tell that guy to move. So I like tell him politely, I'm like, bro, I'm not allowed to let you stand here. Cause I just, I don't want to get in trouble from my boss and shit. And then he starts like threatening to kill me and shit. And then he comes up to me again and like spits all over me. So that happened like literally like a month before I made it, but it, it wasn't really related to that, but it was kind of ironic though. For sure, tell me give it up, I leave everyone in the cold. All I wanna say, I'll do anything you can don't. You show me heroin, I shoot it through my motherfucking bones. Yeah, really, that's just like, to get the point across of just like, I'll literally do like the worst type of shit for you if it like makes you happy type shit. I hope people that listen to the song like more than anything can just like relate to it and just know that like a lot of us are just like go through fucked up shit and like everyone's gonna make be okay like we're all gonna make it out, you know? I don't like to argue, but like I have this like, I just like to outsmart people cause I'm a bit of a bitch so like I just like to, I don't know, I like to get in it with people sometimes, like not really arguing, but like, I think I just always like want to be right. And I'm, cause I'm just like annoying like that, I guess. 